Welcome back to the channel, folks. My name is Joel Duggan, and we're hanging out here on the Citadel server just outside of West Hill, where we left off yesterday. We're going to continue to work on these paths and crossroads and filling in some of the, the foliage details around here. And I think I want to try and fix this tree to start things off. We, uh, we did the path. The path is good. Needs some grass and things around it as well, but I think we need to do work on this rock thing and then also work on on the tree so it should be pretty straightforward to kick things off speaking of kicking things off mind trip media with 100 bits thanks ever so much appreciate the lurk hope you're having a good day always good to see the regulars hanging out in chat sad face we lost the fancy cam such is life okay uh Definitely need those. I might need a little extra scaffolding. Shears, oak logs. I guess maybe some spruce things. I don't think we'll need trapdoors, but I'll bring them anyway. And some roots. And that's probably it. Oh, maybe some fence gates. Do like some fence gates. So for example, we can maybe hide a fence gate in here and have it look like branches. Oh, not facing that way, we won't. And then we can get rid of this. I think that sort of works. I don't want to make that size any bigger. I might make it a little bit more round. Yeah, I struggle with the color mixing too. It's not the easiest thing. Or the texture mixing, I guess, is more accurate. I also find it's hard to get the shapes dealing with big one meter cube leaves. It would be nice if we had smaller leaves. If I put that there, is that going to hide the branch too much? No, that's good actually. That's kind of what I wanted. I guess I should really start using the camera to help me out with this. It's 
So I think if we do that there, we can come back in here. Whoops. Do kind of wonder whether a stair here would help with this branch. It might be too much because you can see it so clearly. Mm. Maybe if we also get rid of the one on top. I know it's really tough with the texture shift. I do like that they're staggered. That part's nice. We could even try a trapdoor here just to get and give it a little extra edge. No. I find them when they've got different metal textures and things in them, definitely a suspension of disbelief. Sometimes it works. Getting very nitpicky, but I think the camera will help with all of this. I think it's good on this side. I don't think we have to really worry too much. Maybe that block there in the corner. Uh, inside, though, I definitely want to have some branches. So I'll cut that out. Maybe that. We probably have to do that more than once. I don't like this branch. Uh, where it is is fine, but it just it doesn't look very good. It's the kind of thing where I wasn't very keen on doing this yesterday, but just sleeping on it, I find, helps. Yeah, this this side definitely needs definitely needs some work. We might even be better off putting in some leaves on this branch just a little bit. We'll see.
Take care, Blast Jordan. Thanks for popping in quickly to say hi. Really appreciate it. This might look really dumb. Oh, does it ever. Definitely have to increase that if we're going to do that. That's not terrible. I wonder if I could have it come out on an angle instead. Oh, that didn't work. Just give it a little twist. I think that works okay. Kind of a weird spot underneath the top here. It's hard to keep these looking natural and not not too geometrical. It's, it's a weird challenge. I think I need to work on this part so I can better blend it into the other side. Uh, the frequency is not higher, no. Uh, I didn't change anything. It could be just the sheer number of... It's just a really big tree. Right, that's probably what it is. And that was a half a stack of leaves gone in a heartbeat.
Oh yeah, it needs to trim down there on the top. Just that one block. Any tips for custom tree building? All the ones I've done uh, just try to look like a feel you stuck in a branch and I've been leaving it like a lollipop. Yeah, I think um, I would say try to work in two shapes instead of one and you'll get away from the lollipop look. Um, a really good example is this. Is um, This was just a basic tree, but then if you push it out to the side a little bit, um, you could also um, pretend in your world like there's a heavy wind direction. I did that a lot with the spruce trees that I did custom, which you can't see from here. But uh, actually, wait a minute. Spruce trees are easier to do custom than oak, that's for sure. Um, little things like this, like just little touches will help. Um, I feel like that's somehow got messed up. Um, there's another one. But, oh, it's over here. So, thinking like, well, if there was a strong wind going east to west, the tree, the top of the tree would be blown in that direction. And that's a stair, a fence gate, and uh, roots. Mangrove roots. So you can kind of curve it in that direction. I think I've got another one over here. Not the same direction. It was just meant to be more interesting as you walk around the corner. It just kind of curves. But other than that, it's just, it's like a, basically it's a vanilla tree. And then I just kind of like gave it a little bit extra oomph around one of the, one of the rings and then curve the top. But like really not terribly difficult, but you can see like sort of they're, they're longer going this way. Right. And that could be reaching out to catch more of the sunshine. That could be, you know, wind. That's looking a lot better. That tree, that tree branch down below, I think, helps it make a make it look a little, a little more more organic. I just have to fix some of this. Do I want that to touch? Probably don't. That's okay. Actually, you know what? No, I like the clear silhouette. A nice silhouette is also a good thing on these trees. Yeah, two ovals definitely feels more stable. I agree. The issue is that sometimes you can just overdo it by placing one block. It depends on how big the tree is. I feel like that's sufficiently bushy. That's the right number, that's the right kind of shape.
don't know about that. I think I like that better before. Free cam helps with it too. I know it's a mod, but I find that it's it's nice that way. I think just a couple of blocks right there should be good. So we grew this as a natural tree, like a, a double high tree. And then I found that it sort of looked like it had two oval shapes. So I created like overlapping ovals. I think overlapping your shapes is a good thing too. Uh, adding in like a small branch or little custom things, having things offset if you can. And then for me, having an interesting kind of vibe from different angles here I wanted it to feel pretty balanced that's why I added these two blocks here it's not a lot but I feel like it makes the tree feel it's still lighter over here but it still feels a little bit more balanced it's not a perfect shape it is kind of like a diamond this way but like you're also dealing with Minecraft and sometimes you're just going to have repetition but exposing branches I think is a big thing like if you look at a tree not like what you think a tree looks like but if you go look out your window at trees there's an awful lot of branches that you can see kind of like in this area of the tree versus up here. So if you can throw in a couple of branches, which is difficult in Minecraft because they don't give you very many things that actually work as branches. I'm looking forward to doing some like alien landscaping type stuff in the sci-fi area because when we can use like different things for branches like end rods or chains or like I, like the sky's the limit. We can do whatever we want. As long as it's something that connects, then, you know, oh, we could even use like warped and, and crimson um, fence posts, you know, that could be fun too, because they're, they're quite bright. Uh, acacia, acacia fence posts could be used too. So we can get into some things like that. I've seen Doc, is it Doc? No, it's Kralis on, on Hermitcraft using walls for palm tree trunks because if you look at a palm tree in real life they're gray they're not brown right the trunks are gray and he's done some really cool stuff he even did like dripstone upside down dripstone for like a tree nursery that was cool all right calling the custom tree done Now we have more moss and other stuff. I don't know if we can get away with that. We might try those. Cobblestone. Is there anything else? I guess tough might work. I don't think I brought tough. Probably just take some of this back. Oh, thought I was going to thread the needle there. box is here yep don't think I need any of that stuff someone asked yesterday if we had cracked tiles I'm pretty sure that's not a thing don't want to use that Do 
have anything that I can just burn? That'll do. Oh yeah, so you can crack tiles. I don't remember them being all that different. I think that was one of the reasons why they didn't stick in my brain. So there's regular tiles. So granted the light's not the best down here. Like they are really subtle. <laughs> there's really not a lot. There's not much difference there. That would be a texture I would be tempted to make better. Like I would increase the contrast in there and have those cracks be a lot deeper and have that be a different, different vibe. And they're impossible to tell apart on the hotbar. Like those, you can see it, but it on a 27 inch monitor, sure. On Twitch, probably not. Oh, boo, yeah, you can use fences in trees, for sure. I find they tend to still look like fences to me, but that's probably just because of the scale that I'm working at. Uh, I don't think we have any other green, mossy things. I have all the other bushes, I think. None of that is going to matter. We could try some of those. They usually are a little dark. Do I have the mini blocks out there? I guess I do. You again. Not right now. Did not mean to do that. Just holding down right click to eat. Buttons, pressure plates. So mossy bricks are not going to work. I feel like that could be a little bit bigger. And maybe we can get away with a little height on it. Probably should change that to moss before I start layering those on. Work smart. I don't have to repeat things over and over. How did I do this over here? Vampire maid, hello, hello. 
Chill Sunday. No complaints. Right, so this was more the central thing. So we'll have to work maybe in a bit of a reverse here. Wonder if it would look better if the bush was up against that. And what's going to be better Oh, not mangrove. Try some jungle. Got azalea. I don't think birch is going to work. Acacia might. And oak is being used in the trees. So we'll just try to see which one might look good. I've been up for a while, Vampire Maid, so I've already had probably too much coffee today. I would love to have a coffee to sip and stream, but I feel like I've had enough. So I've got water, boring. That's not bad. What was that? Birch? And acacia. Oh, come on, server. Mm, I think the azalea work the best, but I think the acacia is a close second. We could maybe use like a transition. It's almost like a gradient when you look at it. Yeah, that could be kind of fun. So maybe greenest next to the rock. So it was acacia and then, oh, I didn't test the jungle. Oh yeah, jungle's not dense enough. I don't know, I think maybe next to the, next to the mossy cobble, we need to go, go with azalea. Oh, okay. I think. Yeah, the the acacia is a better transition. Maybe into regular grass. Get a look to see how I did this one. So it's nearly all moss all the way around the azalea. That's why it works so well. That's pretty good though. And 
we've also got concrete powder and there's no real dark grass that you can use that I remember. I feel like we might be able to try. Do I have any regular terracotta in there? Oh, wait a minute. We've got the data pack where I can dye stuff. Never mind. I can just make it green. What do I have a lot of? Orange. We will do that. Or anything I've got two stacks of? Yeah, let's do eight of that. Eight of that. Universal dyeing data pack from Vanilla Tweaks is great. This may or may not work. We'll see. Neither of those really jam. It's just the concrete powder. Probably works in a taiga biome a little bit better. Probably put that down there. Not that you can really tell the difference. That's right, we'll use moss. Moss is cheaper. Oh, you know what? I gotta remember we can use azalea saplings too. Oh, where do I keep those? Back in the keep, I guess. Sometimes I wish I had a slightly easier way to access the storage downstairs. It's pretty central, but there's always a little bit of running around to do. Anything else? Cactus I can't put in the ground. Just the, um, I haven't tried the bamboo. It's probably gonna be too bright for anything, but we'll see. Yeah, that does not work. You could probably use it in a different context like this, but there's nothing to really go on top of it that would be transparent. I guess it doesn't matter if it's a sapling. Those are brighter. Interesting. That would be better off in here. Kind of fun. 
Like it. I don't want to hide it. So I'm not going to use a lot of this. Are we still in the sunflower plains? Yep. I wonder if this is a really good way to do those bushes where they kind of creep into the ground. So go Azalea here, but then Acacia there. I don't like that. Let's bring this this way. Oh, hello, Lola. Only had a few minutes, but still a pleasure to sit in the design process real time. Thanks. Oh, you're very much welcome. Thanks very much for coming by. Thanks for saying hello. I know it's a super chill Sunday. Um, I don't know what it is. Just tired today. Don't know what it is. I don't know if I have uh, stone mini blocks out here. Cobblestone, but not stone. Might have to look at go getting some. Don't know whether that's worth it or whether it should be maybe farther away. So it looks more like a pebble or a, an offshoot rather than something that's part of the main rock. It looks like it's floating. It's really weird. Maybe if it was mossy. That works. Okay, so that feels like it's a weird kind of piece sticking up. This might be better off if we were able to move it on its own somewhere. Yeah. Oh, 
J Price subscribing at tier one, 33 months. Thanks ever so much, J Price. Appreciate the support. Oops. I don't know if the darker needs to be closer to the middle. Maybe what happens if we reverse these? No, that doesn't work either. I think this is working. think go with some powder here maybe reverse that maybe Yeah, I think that's working. I'd like to have more pressure plate happening. Hard not to overdo it. I don't want to put anything here because it just blocks the view. Hmm. 
Oops. So more carpets down this end, maybe. Good, that's good. Hey, there's many packs. What's going on? I feel like I've spread the grass evenly all around it, which I don't like. Getting dizzy. Probably looks far too bright with shaders, but we'll give it a go. Yeah. They catch the sun really funny when they light up. Don't know if that's a setting I can change. In this context, I think it looks pretty good. Mm, no. Maybe... That. Also, no. What about that tough I wanted to try? That might be a good way to get between stone and cobble. Try to use it sparingly. Sparingly. I do like that. Feels very plain, but you're probably not going to be looking at it very much. So that helps this area. You can see on the map, like it really kind of takes up a big chunk there, but it still feels like we've got these large areas of nothing. So I'm going to try and figure those out as well. I know I want to work on the edge of this to try to create a border there. Outside of like a bush, I don't know what else I could put here. It's 
like maybe there. Yeah, I think that works. Subtle. Well, I think this is where I'm going to take my first break since we have such lovely weather. It'd be easier to just let this pass and I want to stay on top of the break today. So as per usual, I'll be back in about five or six minutes. Gives me a chance to grab another drink. You too. Make sure you're drinking and snacking and enjoying your Sunday and we'll be back in five or six minutes.
It rained that whole time. Not until I slept did it stop. I do not want a creeper to blow up my work. We might take him out the easy way. Denied. I didn't place any of these down either. I don't know whether these would work. Maybe over here? That's okay. Whoa, that's the wrong thing. Oh, it's stone. Whoops. So I did a little bit more, I guess, moss feathering out here at the front. So I'd like to do a little bit more at the back and that should fix that no problem. So out the front, we did a little bit more with the azalea bushes, it looks like. And also the concrete powder. Don't want to overdo it. Yeah, I'd say we're good. It's just kind of a fun experiment to fill in some space. I like it. I think walking by it probably feels pretty good. Low profile, so detail, but it doesn't get in the way. And you get it from two places, so you can get a little bit of a view of it as you walk by here. But then as you walk by on the road, yeah, I like it. So now we just need to deal with this space. I 
I did not mean to do that. Actually, that would probably be grass. There's obviously a cave under here somewhere. I can hear them. It's weird how sometimes when you space things too evenly, it just immediately grabs your attention. I guess we could, before we start filling in this space, I should probably fix the edge of the road and get happy with that. I don't want to get too much grass in here. I like it to feel kind of worn down a bit. Oh, I'm out of grass anyway. Really low on grass. Try to mix it up a little bit. Maybe try to make it feel a little bit more lush underneath the tree. pretty good that looks pretty good so now we just have to do the the edge of the road here
probably put the buttons away. All right, so we made a change here yesterday where we made it a slightly sharper turn. I may have to move some of these shulker boxes. Let's just move things around a little bit. And then we'll do inner chest. That. Now I can see the edge better. Yeah. Um, feel like we could come in straighter here. And same thing on this side. And then if we connect those up, maybe it'll look a little bit better. Yes. It might be time to get rid of this circle. At least the outer rings. Maybe I'll leave the cobblestone. I feel like it's throwing me off now. Yeah, I find that um, since I placed them in at the start of the stream, the planks and the trees really haven't been bugging me as much as I thought they would. So my choices here for the blocks were just purely easy to see where those three rings were. So um, now that we've really cemented in the, the um, road, oops. I can go to a more subtle texture, I think. That's if I even want to keep the ring.
think at this point I probably have to move move my shulker boxes to get a really good look. Um, I think I'll replace the cobblestone with plain stone just so it's really subtle. Although that's going to be a problem there, isn't it? Yeah, I'll leave it for now. That still feels like it goes over quite a bit, doesn't it? We can fix that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Feels a little bit more like a crossroads now than a roundabout, which I like. Yeah, I think that's good. Feels a little bit more natural. Uh, you know, I think I'm just going to get rid of this. Is there, yeah, there's a central piece. Okay, so I'm not getting rid of the potential center axis because that would be a pain to try to find again, but just getting rid of the circle is not a big deal. What it should be is like a cross of um, like foot traffic, uh, that, or if we wanted to get a little fancy with it, we could make it look Maybe like a compass rose or something. Not to copy what I did in the, uh, the modern city, but maybe come up with something interesting. I don't have like a crest or anything for West Hill. That could be kind of fun if I ever figured out something like that. I feel like it would be a fish. There's a lot of rivers. A lot of rivers around. Uh, the, we have um, other situations where we've had squares where we've got patterns on like the parade square and we've got a circle pattern there and patterns in the courtyard and then we've got over here there's a well in the middle so it's less of a real pattern it's more just like a almost a little bit more functional less of a pattern more of just like a texture different textured area there but that's the only other place i can think of Yeah, if we did anything, we'd have to move it over, I think, in that area. Cool. And then we can dump uh, some of this. a lot of cobblestone to get back actually okay so now I want my brown blocks. I'm not going to make as much here. We, we've got green over here and we've got brown there and brown there. I wonder if this could be not quite as heavily trafficked.
Maybe we'll just throw in a few. And then maybe we would throw in some moss directly behind it. Yeah, that seems to work over on that side. Maybe I'll just try to do a mix of the northwest corner and southwest corner. Like, this is nice. I like that. But I also like what's happening over here. Maybe we can have a reason. Oops. I was hoping that was going to be central. That's pretty good. Maybe we'll throw something up there like that. So then that just leaves us with these big empty spots to fill in with, I guess, bushes. Like, I really don't know what I want to do in there. It's hard not to line things up. Try to be random on purpose and you end up being organized by accident. I feel like there was another trick that I was using on the other side. No, it's all pretty much the same. I guess the edges there help. I have a lot of um, topographical changes here, which definitely help break up the terrain. Sunken bush, yeah, maybe a little bit more stuff like that but it's just it's a sm such a smaller area right maybe we don't need to do too much maybe it's you know it's not overly distracting with the stuff around the edges maybe it just needs a little bit of grass here and there less is more as they say
Yeah, I'd say that's all it really needs. We might be able to sink a bush or two back here. I'd go with Azalea because I think it matches the grass better. Just to break up the ground a little bit. I find overlapping stuff helps. You find the textures are too high contrast. Yeah, that that helps. That area too. Could we even do some of them along the edge if it felt like it would work? Have I done that over here? Don't think so. Close. Got close over there. I think that helps give the road an edge, which is nice. So last but not least is just roughing up the road edge here a little bit. bit of gravel probably this one And I'll worry about road, actual road texture later. Let's leave that there and we'll do these three. Nice. Cool. Well, that's one chunk done. One out of several, but I would I would call this area here between the path and the road complete, including the tree. I like I like checking things off. Although, wait a minute, does that? No, that doesn't really. I don't think that would have finished the crossroads. Would it? Yeah, why not? We have other things to add in here, but.
Crossroads. Uh, signs are not quite done yet. I have to finish those up. So wagon stops, point of interests. Point of interest, wagon stops. Sign is not done. And I guess the other stuff is finished. But then I think what we have to do is add in um, I don't know what to call them, but essentially this area here, this area here, and this area here, these weird kind of fields, or I guess we can maybe separate them out. Maybe we can put them in a different spot. Yeah. Don't have enough room back here. Fields and grasses, I guess. I don't know. Curtain wall fields. Uh, we'll do. North marsh grass. Uh, West Hill River in. Grass. And the rest of it all be farms. That be farm stuff. That be farm stuff. Yeah. So Westall River Inn, Curtain Wall, and then Martians. Fair enough. Man. I know it's a lot of opening and shutting of the boxes, but it's so helpful to stay organized. I should leave these in here. I think they're more useful as landscaping. And I think, I don't know if I'm going to move all this stuff. I mean, I'm, no harm leaving it here. It's certainly not in the way of any of the grasses. And now that we've kind of tucked it into the middle, I feel like it's probably a pretty central spot still. Um, but yeah, I think that's where I'm going to wrap things up for today, folks. It's a bit of a shorter stream. We've got a big podcast to get ready for tomorrow. We are welcoming Ulref on the spawn chunks a mojang developer and wants to talk about the mace so it should be really interesting uh to talk to to Al Raf about the mace and uh that'll be available later in the day we are recording later to accommodate their time zone so uh it'll probably be publishing quite late in the evening on monday if you're in the americas and in the wee wee hours of the morning on tuesday if you're in europe uh, or overseas. So just uh, be aware of that. Look forward on social media. The spawn chunks were very easy to find. And uh, also keep an eye out for the new episode of the Citadel Cafe coming out. That's something else I have to get at today. And that is uh, episode 479, I think. Steven and I talked about a bunch of stuff. It was a lot of fun. Very, very, very cool. Uh, I'm happy that things are progressing. This took a long time when you think about what it really is, but it's these kind of details I think really help sell the environment. I really appreciate everybody hanging out for the chill afternoon. Thanks for the support. Appreciate the subs, the bits. Uh, thank you for the moderation as always, although it was a pretty quiet day. And uh, check out the Patreon. If you'd like to join the Discord, you can support me on Patreon. Helps me make more streams just like this. 
and then you get to join in the conversation uh, in between streams. Uh, there will be an exclusive Patreon perk coming up. Uh, sorry, not Patreon, just Discord perk. So Twitch subs and Patreon for either the Citadel Cafe or myself. I'll be doing a um, quarterly report on the Twitch channel and on the Citadel Cafe podcast and my plans for the future for the channel and the podcast and things like that. So that's coming up on a Wednesday, as far as I know. So keep an eye out for that. And I will pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. Let's see who's kicking here. We've got a bunch of hermits are doing some charity stuff. Make sure that someone's playing Hermitcraft or Minecraft. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's raid. Who have we not raided in a while? Let's raid Iskal85, who I think is doing Hermitcraft on the charity stream. So lots of fun for a good cause happening over there on Hermitcraft, and uh, I think you'll enjoy your time with this skull. I will see you all later. Ah, rain. On that note, see you Thursday. <laughs> Take care, folks. Bye for now. <laughs>